number 13. Use the number line to find each measure. So remember our formula here is the absolute value of x minus x. So j would be negative 7 minus L is negative 2. Remember the minus is part of the formula. So this turns this into a positive 2. So negative 7 plus 2 equals negative 5. And the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. So that would be my final answer. And you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see that's correct. Okay, you should not get a negative number for a distance. There's no such thing as negative distance. Number 19. Okay, we're looking for distance, so we're going to have to use the distance formula. So I know you have this in your notes. x minus x. That quantity squared. plus y minus y, that quantity squared. That's the formula. I'd say it's a good idea to label your x's and y's because some people still get confused. And they try and put this point together inside these parentheses. But it's x minus x. So for number 25, it's 1 minus 5. squared plus 2 minus 9 squared all under the square root sign. Please don't try and put this whole thing in your calculator. Do a section at a time. So 1 minus 5, that's negative 4 squared. 2 minus 9, that's negative 7 squared. Okay, both of these are going to become positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. So this becomes 16. Negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. And all of this is under the square root sign. So this becomes... 65, the square root of 65, or we would accept approximately, that's what this squiggly sign means, 8.1, because it's not exactly 8.1, it didn't come out as exactly 8.1, there's more decimals beyond that, so this is where we're going to stop. Number 33, we went from H to K. H is 3, and then we're adding it to 9, that quantity divided by 2. You have to add the top first. You can't type in your calculator 3 plus 9 divided by 2 because it will divide the 9 by 2. So 3 plus 9, you have to do that first, that is 12 divided by 2. So the midpoint of HK is 6. Number 39. I'm going to do this down here so I need some room because we're having to find the midpoint of a segment. So that is that formula is X plus X divided by 2 and Y plus Y divided by 2. So we have 22 plus 15 divided by 2. That's my x's. So let's find that first. So 22 plus 15 divided by 2 is 37. Divided by 2, which equals 
that's my x. My y would be 4 plus 7 divided by 2 equals 11 divided by 2 which equals 5.5. You can kind of check your answer because you know that 18.5 is, it is about halfway between the numbers 22 and 15. 5.5 is about halfway between 4 and 7. It's exactly halfway between 4 and 7. That might be a little easier for you to see. But if you get some crazy answer out here like a negative or something and it said negative 18.5 for some crazy reason, you know that 18.5 that is not halfway between 22 and 15. It has to make sense. Your answer has to make sense. Number 46, we're going to find the midpoint. So we're going to say x is negative 4. This x is 2. So we're adding the two points. And it doesn't matter if you pick the top point. It doesn't matter if you go 2 plus negative 4. You're going to get the same answer. The order doesn't matter for midpoint. So we have negative 2 divided by 2 equals negative 1. Okay, so that was my x's. My y's, negative 4 plus 3 divided by 2 equals negative one half. And you can look at the number line. Well this one's a little weird. It's not going to look halfway between because it's the the squares aren't even. But you know that negative one is halfway between negative four and two. Negative one half is halfway in between negative four and positive three. Okay. Again I'm going to label these So it's very clear what I'm doing. I set this up like this. We know the missing endpoint. So if E is the middle, so I'm going to put here's one endpoint, two. Here's the middle, negative one. We don't know the other side. This is going to be my x's. So how did I get from two to negative one? I went down three, didn't I? So if I go from negative 1, I have to go down 3 more because the middle represents this whole thing cut in half. So negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. This is my middle. This is the other end point. Let's do it with the y's. Here's one end point of 9. Here's the middle of 6. Here's the point that we don't know. It's the other end. So how did I get from 9 to 6? I went down 3. How do I get from 6 to the other end point? Well, I have to go down 3 more. These two numbers have to be even. So 6 minus 3 is 3. I'm not done. I have to put it in ordered pair form. The other end point is negative 4, positive 3.